Hello and welcome to episode 2 of uh, Star Trek Adventures, the playthrough of the Alpha Rules. Just to recap from last week, our four intrepid heroes, Mr. Jonathan Newman, the engineer extraordinaire, <laughs> He's like, oh, that's what I've got to do. I misread my notes. Mr. Joshua Newman. Oh, no, I have to change my name back again. Uh, Shanti Patel, our doctor, I believe. Taval, our Vulcan. And Yolan, our Denobulan pilot. Crash landed on a mysterious planet after an ion surge knocked out their systems. They were subsequently attacked by some kind of primitive ape-man-like creature with some mysterious weaponry at their disposal. Apart from rocks and clubs, one of them was wielding a phaser and another one was dressed in the remains of a Federation uniform. Their objective now is to get to the science station which initially sent out the distress call which brought them to this planet in the first place. The science station is approximately 15 kilometers from where they have crashed in this barren and rocky wasteland. And that's where we are. Mm. You have one Neanderthal who is unconscious and wearing the tattered remains, and two others have, uh, three others have fled. Uh, Shanta, should we not uh, investigate the, the like unconscious being? Yes. Um. I get to do something now. <laughs> <laughs> Medic. Yeah. All right. You go over to the uh, unconscious form. You uh, immediately realize that this is definitely some kind of proto-human, uh, simply because of the, the shape of the, the arms, the legs, the toes, the fingers. Um, but certainly, it seems a lot more heavy bone than previous. You give me an empathy plus medicine check, please, with a difficulty of three. Wait, empathy plus medicine. Hmm. Okay, and then I... 2d20. And roll under. Yes. Find it minus one. That's a one. So that's two successes. <laughs> yep, two successes. Two successes. Mm. Your examination, although you can only go so far because it, you can't cut this individual open just yet, unless you do. It is a living, breathing creature. No. Your surface examination reveals that they are definitely humanoid. The hair growth shows signs of being fairly new. Probably maybe only three or four days old. Um, and the the hair growth seems to have been quite damaging to the skin's surface. So unlike normal hair growth, which is a follicle pushing out, this looks as if the follicle numbers doubled and then the hair was sort of almost forced out, if you like. Aside from that, that's about as much as you can gather. The nerve pinch worked, so they have the same cytic nerves that we have. But um, other than that, yeah. So this new species that we have come across seems to be humanoid, and um, the hair follicles is something fairly new to, on them, or maybe they were something else. Just a hypothesis here. It could be mm. something else and became this. I'm not sure until we get to a sur surgery room. Mm. Is the uniform? Can I look at the uniform and does it look like they were forced on? So like they pulled the pants on or was the uniform like were they wearing it before it was ripped? It, did like the pulling on break the uniform? Or? All right. Give me a reason plus either medicine or science check. Okay. Uh, would and what? No. I guess mm. no science. So that's one success. One success is sufficient. Um, just from the way that the belt of the pants is sort of uh, straining, and the fact that the legs are, they literally have uh, sheared off, whatever happened, this creature expanded into these pants beyond their specifications. So the stitch lines have all been ripped apart. 
Um, so this was not forced on, this was on already. Um, would, would Starfleet, I wonder if we should contact Starfleet and see if this being's biological signature matches one of the scientists because it appears they were wearing their uniform before they expanded or grew. So perhaps this is one of the scientific okay. team and something has happened to them. Uh, since we seem to be out of immediate danger, let me go and check the shuttle's um, communications mm -hmm. and see if they're still functioning. All right. So we can at least afford to crash in the meantime. Okay, you clamber back into the shuttle. Uh, a few consoles are sort of flickering on and off mm -hmm. as intermittent power from the core is mm -hmm. being fed to the terminals. Uh, give me a control plus engineering check, please. Uh, one success. One success. The ship's uh, power is insufficient to break the orbit, so you wouldn't be able to okay. communicate outside of the planet. However, you could communicate with the science station if necessary. Okay, I'm but probably for only a few minutes before power is lost. Okay, I'm going to see if I can raise them. All right, that's fine. The screen indicates that you are transmitting. Okay. And then it indicates that the transmission is now open, but you don't get any kind of response whatsoever. It's audio only. Uh, science station, are you there? You hear what sounds to be like a, uh, a whacking noise, something hitting something for a little while, and then the signal goes dead. It's transmission ended at source. Okay. Uh, our shuttle doesn't have enough power right now to actually transmit out of or past this planet's atmosphere. I tried to raise the science station. I got a connection through and there was some pounding noises, but then the transmission cut. So whatever is happening here seems to have affected the people at the station as well. Perhaps we should scan the body for some strange radiation or emittances and then prepare ourselves to go investigate. But perhaps prepare ourselves for dangerous individuals. Uh, or at least confused okay. individuals. In the meantime, I'm going to see if I can come up with sort of a preliminary parts list of what we might need to fix the shuttle. All right. That's what you're doing, Doctor? Are um, you assisting the Vulcans? Yes. You are watching these people going about their business and you look down at your hands and you realize that your hands seem hairier than they Gosh. were before. Just a little bit. Where's my imagination? Could be. <clears throat> or where's the light? Could be the dust. Mm. Okay. The two of you, uh, you are scanning the body of this uh, creature. You can give me a reason and sciences check or a reason and medicine uh, check. Okay, I'll... The difficulty is two. I got two successes. All right. One success. Okay. By modifying the tricorder that you have on hand, you manage to do a deep cellular scan to identify the genetic makeup of these creatures. This particular creature is definitely human, but its DNA appears to have been altered somehow to express an evolutionary step earlier than they currently are. So in other words, the modern genes have been suppressed and older genes and their genetic makeup have now been activated. Oh, interesting, it appears that they have taken an evolutionary step backwards yes. from being on this planet. It would seem so. Um, just as, like I said earlier, might be one of the scientists. Maybe we should just take some precautions in what we do going forward. Yes, perhaps treat any hostiles as hostiles to be su suppressed and not endangered. Yes? Yes. 
All right. Your inventory of the shuttle reveals that effectively what was damaged in the crash was primarily the sensor array. So you would need some kind of new sensor module as well as a stabilizing couplink that links the engine to the primary thrusters. Uh, neither of which can be replicated on the shuttle's replicator, but the station should have both of those since it runs on mm. pretty much the same principle. So I feel like we, that we should do my case to uh, this. Yeah, no. Look, I, I think I've got a I've got a list together of the things we would need from the from the, the science station to actually repair our shuttle. Um, so it's probably a good idea that we. Uh, Get started on the way there. Yeah, let's. Yes, yes. Let's um, progress. Oh, what are we going to do with the our friend here? We're going to take him with us. Mm. I he must weigh about one hundred and twenty kilos. Yeah, yeah, we're just going to drag him around a, a, a rock away from the ship. Can't leave him there. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Can is there is there a way I can just take a, a uh, even though I've done scans and stuff? Can I take a blood sample? Or? Sure, absolutely, okay. not a problem. Um, you can quite easily take a, uh, a okay, sample. Okay, so of then him. I'll just mm -hmm. quickly take one sample before we go. All right, perfect. And then you're going to start heading towards. No, we drag yeah. him around the corner so that he's not by the ship or whatever. Just kind of. All right. Like a, just a little bit on the side there, that's so when he comes too over the one wall somewhere. All right. So you move him around. The surface, if you recall, is a very rocky sort of desert with large amounts of boulders here and there and stratification of terrain and levels and your tricord indicates the station is due east so you start making your way forward as you leave the shuttle behind you you get to a point where this massive panorama just opens up in front of you and you realize that you've actually crashed on a plateau just hmm. overlooking this valley and the valley before you is absolutely green, filled with flora and just growing in all different directions. There's creepers, you can see there's trees, there's low level bushes, and meandering through the whole of it is this rather broad river. Um, getting down to it though could be a challenge simply because there is an easily a 200 meter drop uh, down there. You do see to the south, sort of the rock plateau slowly starts to make its way down towards the valley below you, but towards the edge of it, there is a pall of smoke slowly making its way up into the air. And it looks like wood smoke of some kind. The valley itself, you can see the river meanders down into a kind of a swampy delta, and the tricorder indicates that the outpost is just on the other side of that delta. So not where the smoke is? No. Mm -hmm. Further to your north, the canyon just gets worse and worse and worse until it would be practically unscalable. I feel like you should split the party. <laughs> okay. That's illogical. I feel like we should see what the quickest way we can find to get down to this river might be. You need? Um, are there any of these vines that are, can we reach down to any of the vines? So that's um, the unusual thing, right? is that it almost looks like there's a shearing point where foliage has crept up the sides of the cavern, of all of the, 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 the valley, yeah. and they get to a certain height and then it's just stunted growth and then it becomes lichen and nothing. How high are we above that point? 15 meters. Okay, so not too terribly far down. Mm. It's not a sheer drop. It is a crag-like surface, okay. so you could slowly make it make it down, but it could um, be tricky. Do you detect any sort of um, directed radiation? in this area because it's a bit odd that the tree growth and plant life just stops at that level would, and would, then there's nothing higher would i be able to scan from where we're standing give me a control plus able? science task using your tricorder you run it around the area 
Uh, one success and a critical fail for 20, hey? Eh? It's 20 a fail. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're scanning around and your tricorder is simply returning absolute rubbish. It makes no sense what your tricorder is reporting back. Um, it appears something is faulty with the tricorder. Uh, let me take a look it at it. It's not my hand it up. Uh, pilot, would you please give me a control uh, plus empathy? Yeah, uh, failed it. Is, okay. it two, is it two dice for each of them? You combine them and then you have to roll underneath the value. Oh, yeah, then that's yeah, so that, what, what did you, then. What did Both you just succeed. ask for, yeah. guy? Control and empathy. Control and empathy. You can't combine them like that. You combine an attribute and a skill, not two attributes together. If that's what it says in the module, the module is wrong. It's what yeah. I say. <laughs> and you can combine them. Because there is not a skill listed that requires whatever it is that I wanted to do. So combine them. Oh, then I'll make it, even with a 17, because it's 99 to 18, so I'll make it, I'll make them both. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's fine. You're all right. All right. I'm good. I'm good, guys. Let's start climbing. I want to still Check see if I can order. do something with Carlos tricorder. With you want to try to well. examine it? Yeah. Well, and see if there's anything wrong with yeah. it? Okay. Perhaps uh, it is just an abnormal an amount of oxygen. Control below. engineering? Uh, yeah. I got control engineering. Okay. And I like to tinker, so I'm going to add an extra mm -hmm. D20 for this falling in line with one of my values. Nice. Oh, I forgot we could do that. <laughs> so I've got two successes. Two successes. The tricorder appears to be functioning absolutely normally. The difficulty, though, is that if you hold it slightly elevated, it reports that the atmosphere is highly ionized. If you hold it slightly lower down, about a meter above the surface, it reports zero ionization whatsoever. And there are eddies that are swirling around so that the tricorder will sometimes re re um, record ionization and sometimes it won't. So effectively from your knees up, you're in an ionized environment. From the knees down, you're That's not. probably not so good for us. I think I fixed it. Oh, wow. I think we should get down lower. Why would that be? Because at about knee height, you see, you see, that's why you couldn't resist. Ah, that is interesting. Hmm. Right, shall we go? Indeed. I think that's a good idea. I take my tricorder back. Are, are you, you going to towards the smoke, down the easier path, or are you going to try and scale the climb? I think we need to first get out of the ionization before we spend a lot of time trying to figure out where we're going. All right. Okay, so this takes us to through to clip? what they call an extended task. I'm just taking a pencil. Sure. Uh, the extended task now requires, is it everybody to roll, Sears? Uh, no, not necessarily. It could um, just be whomever. It could be one specific member, but the rest of us might be able to help out gotcha. with whatever they're doing. So right. whoever's best suited. Yeah, whoever's best suited and the rest of us, if it makes sense for us to be able to add something to the task, will try to assist. But is it then like D&D &D where, is it D&D &D where if no, there's a skill check? That. No, no. Where, so if I help now, I no. can help again? Yeah. It's not okay. a task. Like that, yeah. Okay, the difficulty is four, the magnitude is three, and the progression is 16. Okay. Um, we need reason and science. I can do that. Or control and security. Okay. Uh, who's, who's the, so what's your reason and science? Uh, together I have 16. Okay, I think that's probably the um, highest we can do. What are we trying to do? You're literally trying to make your way down this cliff face. Trying to scale so down. So because it's not sheer, yeah. whoever's going first goes, okay, well, that's solid rock. Wait, that's shale. Don't go there. Yeah, okay. Correct. Um, the control and security is to I, look for safe passage. 
Mm. Can I use control and engineering to look for, sure. to try and look for points where there might be um, the sort of more solid and things ground. like that? Correct. Yeah, so Correct. I'm going to okay. try and assist by doing that. All right. I've got four successes because I got to roll <laughs> two ones. Nice. Okay, nice. and I've got two as well. And I'm and okay. So would I use? I'm find. Am I finding order in the chaos of the unknown? Because we're climbing down a cliff, and I don't know what's happening. Is that not a thing? Must I just stick with my four successes and be happy? Yeah, because you do know what you're doing. You're climbing down a cliff. I don't know. <laughs> guys, guys, I just want to roll them all the dice. I, have, I feel right. like if I roll another one, I'll get another one. Guys. So you have four successes in total. No, six. Yep. Can I? Uh, she had four yes, and you had two. six successes. So we have two more than the difficulty. Right. So we generate two momentum. Yeah. Correct. The difficulty Unless. drops by one because that is a. No. I, I was not yet. yet five? No, not yet. Okay. Now, yes. now your you progress roll is on ten. Two challenge dice, so 2d6. Okay. Plus the skill you used, which was Control science, I believe. Science, yeah. So do I roll 5d6? Yes, my you roll 5d6. Five. Five. Ah. One, two, three, four. Five, so I roll seven in total. Yes. Okay. And you're looking for ones, twos, fives, and sixes. Three. Three. Okay, so I got two, one, two, five. three, four, five. Okay, okay so that so is a breakthrough. So the magnitude drops by one. Magnitude drops by Difficulty one. Difficulty drops by one. Difficulty drops by one. And, and we get five, five on progress. the progress track. Got yeah. you. All right. Was that good? That's did we good. do good? You were that we good. Did, okay. We did do pretty good. But now, because I feel that this... Although this is not necessarily mechanically correct, I now feel that you two should now be responsible for the next phase of the process. So for that, you can give me control and security, um, and reason and science. Can't, can't I use bravery? Uh, I'm gonna try and take risks to try and get down faster. I like it. Go for it. <laughs> bravery and it's security. Just bravery and decide what you're using first. Science. Oh, yeah. Reason and science. Reason and science. One success. Yeah. And you got one success. <laughs> so that is that's two successes in total. Yeah. There's momentum you can use. Well, too late what's what's, what's yeah, fun for? Flying. Yeah. So you got two successes, the magnitude is two. So it's yeah. just borderline. The difficulty it's, is three. It was three, but then you got your five points, which it started it by at one. four. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, the difficulty. Yes, 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 yes. <gasps> Alpha rules. Yes, you are not. Right. Okay. Yeah, so we okay. can use a. Right. So now it's back you to you two. You can't use a momentum. You declare you before. Roll. Oh, okay. Correct. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think we should just keep our momentum and use it for extra challenge dice if we okay. succeed mm. in our check. Oh, okay. So it's now you two. Yeah. Alrighty. And same thing again, yeah? Same Correct. Thing. Right. We still climbing down. Yeah. Slowly making your way down, yes. Uh, okay, I so have I've got one. two successes. That's and three, two, so, so that that's is, enough. That is enough. So roll the same, but I think we should use some momentum to just get extra challenge dice. To try and get your progress to mark. get through it, mm. yeah. So who rolls? You want to roll, too? No, you roll because oh. you're the... I'm assisting you. Okay, so I'm rolling seven at this time. How many? And you spend two momentum. Spend two, so I'm so rolling roll nine. More, yeah. Roll three more. No, two, two more. more. Yeah. Ones, twos, and one, two, three, four, five. So Sorry. five. So it's another five. success. That's so the magnitude goes down by one. Yep. Difficulty goes down by one, and, and you get, you get five, more, five progress. more progress, which puts you on. You are halfway down the ravine and you're starting to get to the grass, well, not the grass, the lichen covered area of the rock. The rock, as you dip down towards the foliage side, the rock starts to become a lot less wind blasted, a lot less jagged, and a lot more earthy. And there's a bit more moisture in the air. You can almost feel the humidity actually starting to surround you as you descend deeper into the mm. foliage. Does it um, almost feel easier to maneuver? Like 
you know, sometimes altitude and stuff makes it harder to move. So does it feel easier now that the ionization isn't so rough? The air certainly seems softer, for lack of a better word. It's not as such a harsh uh, breeze that blows. Um, you are still continuing your descent. So between the medic and the con officer, you need to give me a roll, please, to continue down. Um, are you still going to be trying to make dangerous leaps? Yeah, right on so that. What um, this control do I see you? Bravery, bravery yeah. and security. Yeah. Oh. Yo, yeah, you perhaps can do, there is yeah, a more efficient way to may progress down the cliff face. Maybe I, I'm not two we, successes. We, we get two successes if we roll under that. Yeah. Under that as well. So yeah. sweet, I got three successes then. No, you get two successes if you roll oh. under focus. Yeah. Oh, oh no, you, you don't, don't have, have a focus. focus. Oh, okay. So, okay. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, so I two did. successes and two successes. Two successes. Okay, that's that three momentum. The difficulty. So that uh, the difficulty is two at the moment. No, it's down to one. No, it went from four to three to two. Yes. Mm. We had. We've only had three mm -hmm. rolls. Oh, okay. okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so look, perhaps anyone? there's more right. efficient way to progress down. So the then path. either one of you needs but to roll your skill check. Yeah. So, um, who is who is helping and who is doing it? You are doing it. So you need to you need to roll your challenge dice is equal to two plus whatever skill you used. Two plus whatever skill I used. Yeah, yeah. security. So Okay. Looking for ones, twos, fives, and sixes. Wow. Four. Four of them. Four. Nice. Yeah. So that doesn't result in anything no, except for this dropping down to almost completing your progress track. Okay. Back to the two of you. The foliage is now getting thicker and thicker, so you're now starting to hold mm. onto vines, which have got quite good grip. Okay. Um, makes it a bit easier. As you're heading in. Right, two successes. Two okay. and two again. So should we finish this now and just use all of this momentum to get your extra challenge dice it'll disappear after this right mm. so yeah it'll, down well. it'll tick down i okay, guess so i have any four four extra on top of the <laughs> seven you had <laughs> <laughs> all the dices so one two three four five dr patel nine nine <laughs> Okay. Nine. Okay, so it's not enough to do that, but it gets you. Should be enough to it's enough to progress. finish because it brings you your progress track, which gives you one, and plus five you have successes. five, which gives you one. So. so you are noticing. Um, please, would you give me a presence or empathy and medicine check? One of the two. Yeah. You are noticing. Emergency that the medicine? No. Uh, xenobiology or anthropology yeah, at the okay. push. Uh, two successes. The con officer who was climbing, sort of saying, oh, we can go here, we can go here, we can jump here. So Yolen, for example, as he launches, he's doing his feet use seems a lot different from how a normal Denobulan would move. So he's doing a lot more sort of hanging with his fingers and then stretching out with his legs and then dropping down onto his legs, using his legs as springs, rather than just climbing down. Do I notice anything else? Uh, no, no, other no, than no, 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 no. I used to do parkour back then when I was younger. <laughs> the four of you eventually alight upon the slope that leads deeper into the valley. The foliage here is absolutely spectacular. Massive meter and a half, two meter long leaves shade out most of the harsh sun that orbits, um, this planet orbits. Is there like extra oxygen? I'm going to scan. Is there more oxygen here? Because usually right. oxygenated planets have larger foliage. Yeah. Sure, you can give me a reason in science. And while I'm doing that, I'm saying to him, you see, we arrived at the same time and I've got two successes. We have arrived at the same time. So your bounding and leaps were unnecessary. <laughs> but I, got more, I felt I got more out of life just by enjoying it instead of being a computer. I do not understand. And then here's more oxygen. <laughs> your scan reveals that the atmosphere is hypercharged with a very different kind of ionized particle than the one that was above. The one that was above seemed to have quite a, a, a strong charge associated with it. This one 
although it is obviously charged because it's an ionized particle, the ionization seems to allow the particles to permeate through matter a lot easier. So the particles are literally passing through you um, as they're in the atmosphere. There is more oxygen here. The plants um, obviously are absorbing that and are growing bigger than normal. Um, question. Uh, iron, ionized particles, is basically like it, today it's when the, the lightning cracks, it's that like fresh smell, right? Is it not? Mm, not necessarily. Iron ionized charge. particles are just particles that have had a charge displacement from their core. Uh, atomic mass oh, okay. so it ch changes their properties basically okay um perhaps if we are seeing a revert back to a previous state the particles because there's still ionized particles down here they are just more moving more freely perhaps that is why the plants are growing so large because in anthropology and hi history of planets with this kind of makeup with oxygen and so on Previous reiterations of the planet had large animals and large plants. So perhaps. It's possible, I suppose. Because um, the iron particles are passing through. How far are we away from the science station now? Uh, you're probably about 12 kilometers away still. 12 kilometers mm. away, okay. And we're still descending down, but there's foliage and stuff now, so it's more like. So you went down the cliff, and now you're in a gradation down into sort of the valley floor. Mm. Okay, can I, I think we should try to get to the river because that's probably going to give us the easiest route to get to where we need to go. Can I use uh, either like control of reason and security just to kind of see if there's anything watching us or following us while we're going? All right, you're watching out. Okay, so what did that do? Control and security. And security. Okay, so that's 11. Uh, one success. Mm -hmm. This jungle, if it has any creatures in it, will be a death trap. They literally could be two meters away, and because of the density of the foliage, you wouldn't notice them at all. Uh, anything that's skilled in maneuvering through this stuff will quite happily ambush you. And as you are progressing towards the river, the foliage is getting thicker and denser, and vines are now hanging from the trees and reaching up from the ground as well. Uh, you do, however, notice that there are a few, it's the same plant species, but they're hanging in the canopies. And as you're heading towards the river, they're hanging lower and lower and lower. And they appear to have these very yellow pods on them, which are, they look like they're made out of a thin membrane with veins over them. And they swell anytime you get close to them. They literally start to expand. And the veins stretch thin as you get closer and closer to them. Okay, so let's not let's not walk there. there. Let's, let's, let's go this way around. Okay. Because the uh, uh, plants look weird. Any brightly colored things on in a jungle is pretty bad. Um, I'm going to as we walk past it. I'm going to slam it. All right. What are you I'm using? Gonna, I'm going to use uh, reason and science. All right. But I'm going to use biology and it. Perfect. So that's two successes. Two successes. The tricorder's readings are a little bit, yes, over the uh, correct momentum is generated. The tricorder readings are a bit garbled over the distance from which you have to scan it. If you can get closer to it, your scan will be a lot more conclusive. The plant appears to be standard genetic makeup. What those spore pod things do, you're uncertain at this distance. Hmm. They do seem interesting. Perhaps on our return I shall investigate further. As we are in a rush, yes? Yes, we mm -hmm. are in a rush. Um, I'm obviously still walking quite close to... Um, Yolen. Tval. Tval. Oh, to Yolen. Yeah. Um, can I do it with... What would I evolve if I observe uh, 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 to observe him? Observe him more. You have a medical control tricorder medicine? as well, if you want okay. to do that. But control to observe, medicine, yeah, you could go control medicine, or you could go um, reason or medicine. Reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to use your tricorder, that does require you to take a little nodule at the top of your tricorder and run it over him. 
You could try and do that behind him without him noticing. Or it may be like, all right, guys, while we're walking here, I'm just quickly going to scan all of us to make sure that we're all okay with all these strange plants that are around. Indeed, we were also in a fight. I myself could use some here. Okay. No. And I have this tiny scratch. <laughs> like this <laughs> tiny, tiny scratch. Um, all right, so, so you start okay. scanning everybody. So give me a scan uh, using your medical tricorder. Okay, so, so that would be, be reason and medicine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But perhaps Yolan needs more assistance than I do. <laughs> because we have the same stresses, but mine's like a little scratch, and he's like, Whoa. Uh Two successes. Two successes. Yes. All right. So you sort of scan them, and you scan them, and then you get to Yolan, and you scan <laughs> Yolan. Um, what you're starting to, to see is something that you never thought was possible. His cell division within his body is hyper-accelerated. Literally, as you are scanning him, the lungs are reproducing cells and killing off old cells very, very rapidly to the point that you think his body is basically rewriting itself. Would I know of anything that I might have in my medikit that could maybe slightly suppress what's happening or I would have to be in the lab? So the cellular reproduction is a function of an RNA transfer sequence. If you inject him with an RNA inhibitor, that may slow down the medication, the, 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 the duplication of his cells. Uh, you would need to synthesize some kind of RNA, RNA inhibitor, and the only place to do that would be at the science station, unfortunately. Okay, I guess we better get moving then. Are we all well? Uh, yes, <laughs> but I think that the, 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 um, our, the atmosphere out here might be affecting some of us, so maybe. Shall we progress at a speed then? Yes. Yolen, if you would walk. Normally, yeah, no, I mean, and not jump. Normal. I'm merely trying to state that you went an unnecessary route down the cliff, and if you could not go an unnecessary route, that would make our progress much faster. I say, as I'm walking quite briskly. So, out of character, your stress goes away at the end of combat. Oh, does it? Oh, okay. Well, then unless you unless you actually get an injury, yeah. your stress goes away completely at yeah. the end oh, of every okay. scene. And note all three of us erasing, and you were the <laughs> only one who knew that. <laughs> la, la, la. Some of us were stressed and freaking out, whereas others of us who are read the rules. Yes. yes. Look, let's not make this a discussion of who's a better role player or not. Okay, so you are continuing your way through this jungle and it gets to a point where you have to use your phaser on a low level setting to start cutting plants mm. away as literally the closer you get to the river the hotter it becomes but the more humid it becomes huh. sweating starts to happen on almost everybody except for the vulcan uh, yes. uh when when we have to stop phasering i am going to step slightly back because i do not have the phaser anymore all right, that's right, she gave it to you. Mm. So you're sort of cutting your path towards the river. <laughs> you start to hear the river itself. <laughs> to make those uh, sound effects as you're going in your mind, you're like, with the face of sound effects, you're double timing. Yeah, of course. Like, <laughs> <laughs> as you cut away a particularly broad leaf type thing, uh, a stench just washes over you oh. of rotting meat. And in front of you is this large carcass of something that originally had four very large legs. Um, It's actually so big that whatever it is, you can't see the whole length of it. You can see a 10 meter section of it, which is covered in this gray leathery hide. But most of it has been ripped open and consumed by something else. (laughs) <laughs> out, out of character, and also when I see us did this, because in our laugh you do this when you want to go out of character. Out of character, it's dinosaurs. <laughs> there are things moving around inside the carcass, attempting to clean it out. 
Um, perhaps we should stay, steer slightly clear of whatever is eating the large animal, if it could take down such a large animal, unless it is indeed a, a scavenger. Shh. You need to get round the large animal first. Yes, that is what I'm saying. I'm already in the room. Oh, oh, yeah. You guys talk way too much, they're going to get eaten. I'm just going to. You're noticing when you look here. at things that the plants are starting to no longer be green, but they're starting to shift towards blue. And when you look at your teammates, they're starting to appear to be slightly redder than before. And the color of the uniforms is shifting towards blue. Um, Indeed. Wow. All right. So, as you're making your way around this carcass, from above you, you hear this low level growling. And you look up, and it's just leaves and branches and. Who hears it? All of us. All of you. Okay, so you have my laser just in case. Yeah, I, I click mine back up to the normal setting. <laughs> All I right. am preparing myself for. Uh, you should probably take okay. this back. Oh, is yours fixed now? Yeah. Thank you. If it was fixed, I do not know why you have waited so long to give me my phaser back. I, I was using it. <laughs> to clear out the foliage, didn't you see? Wow. All right. Ah, I believe it is like one of those books you enjoy in your in your cabin on this board. Is it not a, a western? I believe it was called back in the the day. I believe they held two uh, phaser-like objects. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen you practicing often drawing two phasers. <laughs> However, we have only been given one phaser. So you draw one and then another. As the Vulcan is prattling on and on and on, suddenly out of nowhere, the six-legged beast, it is about the size of a tiger, just lands on top of you. <coughs> and its claws sink in. You take two points of damage and uh, are knocked to the ground. Literally, this thing, it's got six legs, and you can see two of them have sort of wrapped around her torso. Two are wrapped around the lower legs, and the other two are in the shoulders. Oh. And uh, it has these other appendages out of its back, which just disappear back up into the canopy. Uh, it almost looks like it's it's suspended on these extra bits of skin from above it. So it's like a weird spider tiger thing. Spiger. There we go. It's a spiger. Let's go with that. Drop tiger. Yep. <laughs> Drop tiger. <laughs> So we're now into combat, and uh, this creature is intent on taking you back up into the canopy. So the creature is on top of you. All right, initiative it is. To be